Hello students, today I will discuss another XA film. This film, it consists of two films side by side. One is this one and another this one. I will discuss one by one. First of all, let us, let us discuss this film. And this is the straight X-ray or plain X-ray of abdomen in anterior posterior view. And here we can see so many important structures. They are radio opaque areas and some are radio lucent areas and some are less dense areas. Now we will identify what are these structures. If I start from above downwards, what we see? We can see here these are the shadows of the ribs. The lowermost rib is the 12th rib and the rib above is the 11th rib. So, the 12th rib it articulates with the 12th thoracic vertebra. So, the vertebra this one it is 12th thoracic vertebra. So, above it is 11th and below it is the lumbar 1 vertebra or first lumbar vertebra. Then we can count the vertebra number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. After that this is sacrum and all these vertebra they are in the midline and this shadow, this shadow it is the body of the vertebra. These are all spines of the vertebra. We will see the spine more clearly in the lateral view. And below the fifth lumbar vertebra is a sacrum. You know the sacrum, it is consisting of five sacral vertebra and this is the first sacral vertebra which articulates with the fifth lumbar vertebra. And then this side and this side, this is the ala of the sacrum which articulates with the ilium of the hip bone forming the sacroiliac joint of this side and sacroiliac joint of this side. We already discussed uh, this type of uh, joint and the bony pelvis as a whole in my previous video. Then come to the lower part and this is the head of the femur, head of the femur of this side and this is the pelvic inlet. Then if I ask you how do you count the rib or how do you count, count the vertebra from this extra film? I already told you the lowest one is the 12th rib and this is the 12th vertebra and then lumbar then sacral. I already told you. Then what is this shadow? Can you see this shadow of both sides? This shadow it is less dense due to its lower radio density and this shadow is the renal shadow or shadow for the kidney. And the rib it is related to the kidney on its posterior side. Here also on the left side, the 11th and 12th rib they are related to the posterior surface of the left kidney. So both these are the renal shadow. And if you come downward, another shadow you can see this shadow of this side and this shadow of the other side. Both the shadow are also not too dense, rather it is less dense. Why? Because it is a muscle. A muscle is not dense like that of the bone. And this muscle is obliquely aligned and this muscle is psoas major muscle. And if you are asked what are the attachment of this psoas major? It originates from the transverse process or anterior surface of the transverse forces, these are all transverse forces of the lumbar vertebra. Can you see this one, this one, this all transverse forces. So, this muscle is attached with the anterior surface and inferior border of the transverse forces of the lumbar vertebra and also from the sides of bodies of all lumbar vertebra including their intervertebral disc. We know the origin of the schwarz major. Then what is the insertion of a schwarz major muscle. It is inserted on the anterior surface of the tip of the lesser trochanter of the femur. Then come to this 
pelvis. This is the bony pelvis formed by hip bone of both sides and posteriorly the sacrum and coccyx. Then what are the joints we can see in this x-ray film? These are all intervertebral discs between the vertebra. So, all these are intervertebral discs. It is more clear in the lateral view and this intervertebral disc, it is consisting of nucleus pulposus in the center and annulus fibrosus at the periphery. And below, here the fifth lumbar vertebra articulates with the first sacral vertebra forming ambosacral joint. Then laterally, the ala of the sacrum of both sides, they articulate with the hip bone or ilium of the hip bone forming sacroiliac joint which is a plain joint. Then come to this joint, this is the hip joint of both sides and here the pubis of both sides forming symphysial joint or secondary cartilaginous joint. We can see some black areas or radiolucent areas and it is distributed throughout the abdomen and all these are the gas shadow. Gas shadow means this is the gas within the different parts of the intestine. So, this shadow looks black because of the radiolucency. So, all these are more or less important features of the anteroposter view of abdomen including the pelvis.